out with the tree. They volunteered for what many soldiers consider to be the most challenging job in the Army. Sergeant Dion Moses gives us an in-depth look at a day in the life of Army recruiting. Army Strong, this is Staff Sergeant Walker, may I help you, sir, ma'am? This is just a typical day inside one Maryland Army recruiting office, but there's another side of the job few rarely see. Congratulations. It's second period at Fairmont Heights High School, and the JROTC class has already filed in. But senior George Ransom isn't here for today's lesson. What's your main goal for your life the next three to five years? What would you say it was? I have no idea right now. See, George is a new dad. I have a daughter. And he wants What's to do the right thing for her. I'm uh, feeling as though I should marry the child's mother. That brought him here. He gave me a list of some of the jobs. It's a regular day. I review it and see what's best fit for me. I'll talk to him tomorrow. But there's more to recruiting than visiting high schools. It's also about making a difference in people's lives. Once a month, these soldiers, along with their new recruits, go out into the community and give back. Oh, I squeezed him, hugged him to death. My husband was one. He's away in Arlington Cemetery. Mm -hmm. We still represent the Army in and out of uniform, on and off duty, but we try to integrate ourselves into the community because we live here too. This job takes them all over Prince George's County, Maryland, but they never seem to lose sight of the big picture, providing strength to the Army. Who leaves next? Charlie Isaacs. Yeah, I'm planning on kicking butt and staying out of trouble. Is leaving for basic training soon. I'm going to prove my brother wrong. So is Von Mormon. I won't be able to see your female in 14 weeks, and I'm kind of disappointed in that. But they're both well prepared for what lies ahead, thanks to the hard work these recruiters put into the Future Soldiers program. We start training them and getting them prepared to keep them interested. And uh, we even bring their family and friends into it if they want to, so that when they actually depart for basic training, they actually feel like a soldier. It's not so much of a shock. <laughs> when you step through that door, you feel, you feel at home when you come in here. Some recruiters just don't really care about you and whatever, but he took the time to help me with stuff. Most of them actually come back and say thank you. Sergeant Dion Moses, Largo, Maryland. You know, being a recruiter, I think, is one of the toughest jobs in the Army. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more. I have a lot of respect for what those guys do. 